Isang magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Uh, muli po ang aking pasasalamat sa pagbibigay sa akin ng um, opportunity to be part of this uh, project or activity of our home church, of my home church, St. Paul UMC. We at St. Paul United Methodist Church would like to invite you to all our activities which includes our care groups for different ages. Uh, we have our online and face-to-face uh, -face Sunday school every Sunday. We have our midweek services. We have our Sunday services and our Bible studies mm -hmm. uh, for different ages. So all you have to do is to approach our church office, the secretary, the, uh, the ministerial staff, and the lay leaders for link so that you could join these activities. Before we start today, let me ask you to join me in being with the presence of the Lord as we have our prayer for today. Panginoong Diyos, salamat po sa araw na ito na ibinigay mo sa amin. Ikaw na wa ang laging mabigyan ng papupuri sa bawat bagay na aming gagawin. May everything or every word that comes out into my mouth would be your message for each one of us. Use me to tell the people who is watching this of your message, of your will, of your path for each one of us. Open our hearts, O oh Lord, over our mind, open our mind so that we could understand the message for today and prepare our hearts to accept the message that you would be giving us today. Thank you, Lord. 
sa iyo ang lahat ng pagpupuri at pasasalamat sa bawat araw ng aming buhay. In Jesus' name Amen. we pray. Amen. Message for today would come from Matthew 24 verses 36 to 44. Ito po ang nasasaad. But about that day or hour, no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven nor the sun, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. After the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a handmill, one will be taken and the other left. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known of what time of the night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have left his house be broken into. So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect Him. Ah, tulad nga po ng nasasabi, no one knows. Until now, marami tayong naririnig na, ah, second coming na, Jesus, God will come again. Ito na yung second coming, ito yung nakalagay sa Revelations. What is happening around us is what is being written on the Bible. So, but then, who could tell? So, I'm already nearing my senior age, but it, it's, it's a repetition of war, mis misunderstanding, yung um, natural uh, calamities na nangyayari, hindi lang sa Pilipinas, hindi lang sa Japan, but in different parts of the world. And we are all aware that these are, these are part of the signs that the end of times is coming. But no one knows, no one could, could give us um, the actual date when it will come. So, kahit sa buhay natin, marami tayong nakikita. For me, on my personal opinion, people passing, passing away or yung dying, I, 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 I take it as God's action in taking them out. Kasi there are people that is very young, there are people that is very old, that is very healthy, that we would not expect that they will die at the time. But they do die. So, even our lives, we do not have the assurance until when we will be alive. So, sabi ko nga, every gising is a blessing. It's a blessing and a chance that is being given by God to us to straighten out our mistakes, to correct our sins, to ask for forgiveness for the people that we have uh, hurt, or the people that we have offended, binibigyan tayo palagi ng Panginoon ng chance every time na nagigising tayo na, Anak, you still have another day of your life. Live it in a way that I would be glorified, that I will be pleased. But then, because we are in this world wherein, sabi nga, may rat race. The dog eats dog. We sometimes tend to think na, oh, I'm still young, bata pa ako, I still have lots of time. These are the things that I still have to priority. And mas madalas, we put our spiritual health at the back. Kasi we're too busy with these earthly activities, earthly engagement, worldly treasures, possessions that... We think we have to achieve, but hindi ganon. Katulad nga ng sinabi, we do not know what time it would come. At the same time, with our own lives, maybe today we're healthy, but tomorrow, who knows if we would still be awake. So, um, on my own, um, 
on my own experience. I have been through several sickness. Na sometimes I would think I might not survive this. But uh, at the first time that I have cancer, I did not fear for myself. I am ready anytime. But I fear for those people that I would li leave, uh, leave behind. And uh, iniisip ko lagi, baka hindi pa sila ready. But as time goes by, I know that whatever happens, I trust that God would hold them. So, um, sabi nga, if we know what is the time, kung yung may-ari ng bahay, alam niya kung anong oras darating ang magdanakaw, definitely he will do everything. So, the same as with us, kung alam natin siguro kung kailan tayo mamamatay or kung kailan darating ang Panginoon, maybe we would leave everything behind. Hindi na tayo, hindi na tayo makikipaghabulan sa oras. But makikipaghabulan tayo towards the way to God. Kasi who would not want who would not want a, a life an ev everlasting life, an eternal life. Siguro no one would tell you that okay, pagpatay na ako, wala na akong pakialam. Pag namatay ako, then let's see. For every Christian or for every person that believes in God, It is our main goal to join God in heaven. To be part of the new world. Yung world na kasama ang Panginoon. Kung saan wala ng kamatayan, wala ng pagkakasakit, wala ng hirap, wala ng problema. Kung saan ibabalik niya yung bagong uh, Garden of Eden. Nang lahat ay pure, lahat ay malinis, lahat ay masaya. <clears throat> But, isa lang ang gusto kong itanong, kung nabubuhay tayo ngayon. And, if God would tell us tonight that, hey, it's your time to go. Are we ready? Is our life ready? Is our spirit ready? Is our heart ready to leave the things that we have being engaged in this life. Hindi lang sa buhay natin, ready na ba tayo sa mga iiwan natin? Have we prepared our children towards the path of God? Kasi sabi nga, biyang, bilang magulang, isa sa, isa sa responsibility that is given to us by God is to set the foundation of our children towards God. So siguro before we 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 uh we go before we strive for uh wealth for treasures we we still have to think that our children our family is our the most precious gift the most precious treasures that has been given by God to us and we should set the foundation for them. Because isa sila sa gusto nating bantayan na gusto nating i-prepare that even any time or, or any time that God will come, they will find, uh, He will find, God will find each one in our family ready to accept Him, ready to join Him, and ready to be part of the new world. Madalangin po tayo. Diyos namin makapangyarihan sa lahat. Maraming salamat po sa bawat bagay na ibinibigay niyo sa bawat isa sa amin. Patawarin mo kami sa bawat kasalanan, salita, at gawa na alam namin minsan ay hindi kalugod-lugod sa iyong paningin. Patuloy mo kaming hawakan. Patuloy mo kong ihanda ang aming buhay. Gamitin mo kami. So kung paano palalaganapin ang iyong salita at kung paanong 
may guide ang mas marami pang kaluluwa papunta sa iyo. Wala kaming pwedeng ipagmalaki sa iyo, Panginoon, dahil kung wala ka, wala kami. Anything that we have in this life is a blessing from you. And even those things that we have, that you have given us, is part of the grace that you have given us. Ipinananalangin namin ang aming mga kapatid na nasa banig ng karamdaman. Hawakan mo sila. Bigyan mo sila ng kagalingan. Ganon din sa mga nangungulila, sa mga mahal nila sa buhay na umalis, dumisan at umuwi na sa iyo. Yakapin mo sila ng iyong magpagpalang pagmamahal at comfort. Ikaw, Panginoon, ang aming itinataas sa bawat oras ng aming buhay. Patuloy mo kaming ingatan, patuloy mo kaming gabayan, at patuloy mong ituro sa amin ng daan patungo sa iyong kalooban. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Patuloy naming ipinababot sa inyo, mga kapatid, ang pagbati ng isang napakagandang umaga at pagbati sa pangalan ng ating Panginoon Diyos na patuloy kayong pagpalain sapagkat pinagpala tayong lahat sa napakagandang umaga sa mga salita na ating narinig. Halika, kapatid, samahan mo ako sa diwa ng panalangin. Patuloy ka naming pinasasalamatan dakila naming Panginoon Diyos sa inyong kabutihan na hindi masayad sa bawat isa sa amin. Pinagpapalan niyo kami sa iba't ibang kaparaanan ng buhay, tugon ng aming mga pangangailangan, dala ng aming panalangin. Hindi namin kayang ibalik ito o Diyos, kundi yung kami ay patuloy na magpuri, patuloy na magpasalamat sa lahat ng aming mga gagawin maging sa aming hanap buhay. Kung ito'y gagawin namin sa isang napakaayos na kalagayan na Diyos, napakaayos na responsibilidad na yung iniyatang sa amin. Ito'y kaparaanan ng aming pagpuri. Kaya nga, O Diyos, sa aming panalangin, sa napakagandang umagang ito, sa iyo namin ibinabalik ang karangalan, kalulhatian at katakilaan ng aming Panginoon Diyos. O, o Panginoon, Samahan niyo kami sa maghapong ito at iparanas muli ang lahat ng aming mga pangangailangan. Sila na merong mga karamdaman o Diyos na nakahiga sa banig ng karamdaman sa loob ng hospital at sa kanilang mga tahanan, ang dalangin po namin ay kagalingan ng kanilang makamtan. Sila naman na maglalakbay sa araw na ito, papasok sila sa mga trabaho o saan man sila pupunta o Diyos. Aming ipinagtatagubilin sa iyong dakilang pangalan na ingatan mo sila at ang iyong mapagpalang kamay ang siyang hahawak sa kanila saan man sila paro roon. Kaya sa napakagandang umagang ito, magpapanimula po kami at inaasahan po namin ang iyong patuloy na gabay, patnubay at basbas sa lahat ng aming mga gagawin, maging sa lahat ng aming mga kahilingan. Binanggit man namin sa aming mga labi o nasa aming mga puso, alam mo na kung ano ang aming kahilingan sa inyo o Diyos. Tunay na tugon ng lahat ng mga kailangan mula sa laman ng aming puso. Sa pangalan ng Ama, Anak at ng Espiritu Santo, ito po ang aming panalangin. Amen.